What's up everybody, Alex from Twin Gaming TV, back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today, we are going to be going for maybe 12 wins in Battle Royale. We're currently 9-1. I'm going to be playing, I think, at least 2 games, unless the first one goes 9 innings or something like that. But I'm going to try to play at least 2 games as long as we win the first game and get to 10-1. But we're currently 9-1. I'm about to show you guys my 12 win reward. I know a lot of you guys have been looking for this. As you can see, we have 95 overall veteran impact from 2002 flashback legend Chipper Jones. And last time I checked this, this dude is worth like 120,000 stubs on the market, and uh, it's probably the best 12 win reward that I've had. I think I've had Keichel, Correa, um, the time I won 12 games, I had Luis Aparicio, sold him for like 40k, so this is definitely like one of the best 12 game rewards I've had. Obviously, it's not somebody like Mike Trout or Bryce Harper, who's 200, 300, 400,000 stubs, but 120,000 stubs for a 12 win reward is still very, very good. Now, like I said, we are currently 9-1 and one with this team down in the comments let me know below if you've gotten into nine wins before what the best 12 win reward you've had has been and also maybe comment your worst 12 win reward that you've had and for both of these regardless if you've won the 12 games but your best 12 win and your worst 12 win that you've seen once you've gotten into nine and uh, let's try and get to at least 10 and one with this game this guy has 90 Luis Aparicio the only time of won 12 games I got that card Jose Ramirez 99 Griffey 94 Willie Stargell 84 Dante Bichette Elvis Andres Wilson Ramos most Whit Merrifield and Braden Shipley, a righty on the mound. We got Tim Lincecum on the mound, Jake Lamb leading us off for that righty on the mound for him. Let's try and go 10-1. and one. Dang, man, that's going to be this dude's first base hit of the game. I left Tim Lincecum in for him. He's going to get a double here. He has two lefties. I think the guy up to bat now is 99 Grivy. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Justin Wilson. Try and get out of the inning without allowing a run. Oh, come on, come on. No, dang, man, that kind of sucks. Are we going to get him at home? He's not going home. Okay. Dang. Oh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. If he scored there, I was about to go off, man. I was about to be so pissed. Um, so, runners on the corners, one down. All right, got him for strike three. Okay. I thought he might go home. Uh, it was a drop third strike, so maybe he thought, you know, he was going to first base. All that stuff. But two down here, a righty up to bat. We're just going to have to see if we bring in a righty or what we do. So he has Dante Bichette, and then he has... Th okay, so he has three righties in a row. So we're going to bring in Chris Davinsky, try and get out of the inning right here. Two down here in the first. So he tried stealing last at bat. It's 0-1, I'm and I didn't slice up that first pitch. So I'm going to try to slice up and get him stealing if he's trying. All right, he's stealing. He's not making contact. We should get him. He's going home. I I'm just running. I'm just running. Yeah, I don't care if he stays at third, man. He got the stolen base, all that 0-2 count. But I just, I did not want to throw it to third and have him accidentally score. Because that's happened before, and I hate it when it does. Strike three. Going to the bottom of the first inning. Nothing allowed. Very, like, scary and intense first inning, though. We're going to have to get some runs here to take some of that pressure off of myself and some of the nervousness will go away then and I'm not a Brewers fan you guys I am a Cardinals fan a lot of you guys know that but I got this for free I think it looks nice I wanted to wear something baseball related for this video and this is the only clean thing that I had so I figured why not man I would just wear it as we're 2-0 with Jake Lamb 3-0 to Jake Lamb we might have the green light here depends on what pitch it is come on baby ball four there we go lead off walk definitely a good way to start it for us in the bottom of the first inning Jose Reyes hits it pretty deep. We're going to try and go. No, we're, that's going to be caught, isn't it? No, it's not going to be caught. Oh, I could have gone to third pretty easily. I'm still going to third. 46. No, I can't now. Why was he so slow running right the base? Dang, man. We got runners on first and second, though. I actually probably could have gone to third anyways. Um, but two runners on. Nobody out. Joe Carter up to bat. And Joe Carter hits it into the outfield. 46 speed. I don't think his outfielder has a great arm. Dante Bichette. There we go, taking the lead, one to nothing. We have runners on first and second still, you guys, with zero outs. Adrian Gonzalez up to bat. He's leaving his righty in. And Adrian Gonzalez grounding into a double play. I was going to try to go home with Jose Reyes, but I didn't get him going home at when I wanted to. And uh, two down, runner on third, Deion Navarro up to bat. Let's try and get one more run, man. I want to try and have a two to nothing. Um, I'm still happy we scored a run, but I would love to have more than one. Not going to happen, though. We're going to the top of the second. We scored a run in the inning. Should have had a lot more, but I kind of choked a little bit. Trying to hold on to this lead. If we do, six ounce to go from the W. 
Oh, Wilson Ramos lining that one up the middle. He has another righty up to bat and then his pitcher spot. So it'd be cool to get a double play, but if we only get like a one out here, maybe a fly ball, something like that. And uh, as long as we get an out, though, I'm happy. But a double play would be awesome, but I wouldn't mind him taking out his pitcher. Oh, that might drive in a run. 27 speed, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see how fast we can get it in. 27 speed. It looks like he's probably going to score and tie the game. We'll see, though. Come on, make the play. Yeah, not a great cutoff. Dang, man. He scored. It's tied 1-1. One one. His pitcher spot is up to bat. One down, and he has a runner on third. So whoever he brings in, we might have to walk here just to get that double play opportunity because we don't want him to get a sacrifice fly or anything as Joey Gallo is his pinch hitter. And broke as bad as he going to go home. He's not going home. We should get the easy out. There we go. So top of his lineup. Oh, third to third, third to third. No one's covering third. <laughs> um, we got the second out of the inning, though. Back to the top of his lineup. Righty switch lefty. So let's try and get out of the inning. And he's bunting. Oh, that's going to be a run. Dang, man. That kind of sucks. Kind of sucks for us. We lost the lead. It's 2-1 to one now. Suicide squeeze with two down to get the runner home. And he has a switch hitter than a few lefties coming up to bat. He's going. Cutter. Throwing it home. Got him. Oh, we didn't get him. Dang, man. That kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. But uh, he has a lefty up, so we're going to bring in our other lefty. Dang, man. That sucks. Always a little bit frustrating when stuff like that doesn't go your way. But, you know, we're, we're hoping to get out of the inning with only two runs allowed and uh, only a one-run deficit. He's stealing. He got on top of the ball. We should get him at first base. Dang, man, that kind of sucks. Uh, he hit that one pretty hard, 22 miles per hour. Pretty easily scored that run there. He, Like I said, he hit it really hard. It was 22 miles per hour off the bat. And uh, we're trying to get down in the inning now with 3-1, to two-run deficit instead of that one run. He's stealing again. And we should get the play. There we go. So we're going to the bottom of the second. We did allow three runs in the inning. Um, we allowed a lot of hits and all that stuff. And uh, trying to get some runs back, man. Trying to take the lead or tie it. We just want some runs, man. I'll take one run, but I would love two or three. Jonathan Scope lining that one to the outfield. And caught. Dang, man. Thought he made a little bit better contact than that. Come on, double play, baby. All right, we didn't get one. We didn't get two. Okay. That kind of sucks. Dang, man. Should have just gone to first for the easy out. He's going. And my second baseman's not going to field it. Okay. Um, four to one now. Nobody down here in the top of the third inning. Yeah. Uh, I just keep losing the game. Oh, man. Good hit, good hit. All right, two guys on, nobody out here, 5-1. to one. Yeah, this game's not looking good. Uh, my dude Fuzzy had an insane comeback today in Battle Royale, so I'm hoping I can do the same here. We're down 5-1. to one. I'm really hoping I can have an insane comeback in the bottom of the third inning because this game's going from bad to worse as we are down by four runs now. And, oh, thought we were going to be able to get him there. Dang, man. Runners on the corners now. Uh, nobody out. This game's going from bad to worse. Yeah, he had a pretty good hit on that. It was It was barely out of the zone and stuff. He chased it, but he was able to make some good contact on it. And he's bunting. Probably going to get a hit. Yep, and he's going home. Should get him at home. Or should get him at third. Nice underhand toss. Not going to be there in time. Jose Ramirez should be a double play now. Could have maybe gone for... Nah, couldn't have gotten a triple play. At least we got two outs, though. At least we were able to get two outs there. I'm happy about that, man. We are down 7-1 to one now. Going to have to have an insane comeback in the third inning if we want to try and win. There we go. Struck Griffey out. Going to the bottom of the third, guys. We're being out hit 12-2. to two. We're being outscored 7-1. to one. This guy's killing the ball today, man. He's had some great hits. Destroying me. Definitely outplaying me. Uh, so we got to try and do what he's been doing, I guess, and try and win this ball game. James Loney lining that one into the outfield for a base hit. There we go, man. Now we just need to continue to do that. That was a pinch hitter for the pitcher. We got the top of our lineup. Jake Lamb up to bat, and we just got to keep doing stuff like that. Jake Lamb now lining it into the outfield. So comeback is starting off pretty strong. That, that's going to score a run, 25 speed. That should score a run pretty easily. And uh, we're only down by five now because I think we were down by six before. So we're only down by five now. 
have the heart of our lineup coming up to bat. Jake Lynn, that was our leadoff hitter, so now we just got to keep doing that. Down at 7 2, down by 5. Jose Ray is now lining it into the outfield, going to score another run. We're only down by four now. Um, I hope Luis doesn't have a good arm. There we go. Only down by four runs now. Zero ends in the inning. The comeback is hopefully starting. Joe Carter up to bat, followed by Adrian Gonzalez. Joe Carter now flying it down. That's going to be our first down. We still have two outs to work with, though. Still got two outs to go. Just got under that one a little bit too much. Adrian Gonzalez should be a home run, should take us down by two now, seven to five, two ounce to work, but still got a lot of good guys coming up to bat, you guys, seven to five, DeAndre Navarro up, and then Jonathan Scope, then David Peralta, then flashback through stuff, so we still got two ounce to work with you guys, we're still trying to make the comeback happen, down seven to five now. Yeah, that's going to be the second inning. thing. Dang, man, shouldn't have swung at that pitch. Thought I could do something better with it, but just got under it, I guess. Jonathan Scope now up to bat. Yeah, we got to the left of it. We were right on it, but to the left a little bit. Jonathan Scope now going to foul that one off probably early. Yeah, we were early on it. Oh, man. Jonathan Scope lines that one to the third baseman. Yeah, man, he probably hit, I, I didn't hit it as hard as he did there. He hit, he hit that one the other inning 22 miles per hour. That was probably like 14 or 15, so I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised uh, we got out there. So we were 9-1 and one with 95 chipper as 12 win reward as a 12 win reward, man, and we just lost our second game of the BR. I'm going to open up the pack at the very end of this video. If you guys don't want to hear me complain, if you guys don't like it when I complain or you, or you don't think I should be complaining, you just don't want to hear me complain for like a minute. It's not going to be super long. Just maybe skip around, mute until you see me exiting the game, but I'm about to complain about this game a little bit, uh, and so if you don't want to listen to that, just mute now until you see me opening a pack or something. Well, we lost 7-5. to five. I almost completed a comeback. He out-hit me 12-6. to six. Um, You know, he, he really had a lot of hits that game. We lost 7-5. to five. But I really felt like I did not deserve to lose, um, especially, like, scoring five runs. But I really don't think this guy deserved seven runs. Okay, so he had a bunt hit to score a run. I feel like that run, yeah, it's whatever, man. Who cares? But he had two jammed hits that resulted in runs, I'm pretty sure. Like, out of the zone, jammed, whatever, you know, you can't even get your PCI there, and he had two uh, two of those at least, and then there were pitches out of the zone. Two of his big hits were pitches out of the zone. They weren't even in the zone. You can't get your PCI down there, um, and that kind of sucks. Those things suck, and, uh, and then just, you know, the thing where my pitcher missed the ball that wouldn't let me pick it up, the one where he got on top of it 22 miles per hour, my uh, guys didn't pick it up and throw it fast enough. Just stuff like that, I feel like it's baseball. Yeah, it happens. Those jammed hits, yeah, it happens. But I just felt like this guy was not hitting the ball even close to as well as I was hitting the ball. Yes, he ended up with 12 hits. I had six, whatever. I just really felt like I deserved to win that game. If you want to comment below your thoughts, if I deserve to win, if this guy deserved to win, all that stuff, you know, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I just felt like this guy didn't play well enough to score seven runs. And it's frustrating, you know, if I lose a game, I'm probably going to think I, I'm probably going to be more mad. I'm probably going to be more frustrated. And I'm going to be thinking about stuff more and trying to figure out an excuse for why I lost. But I still really felt like I was playing better than this guy, especially in that last inning. But I, I don't think I showed you guys probably the majority of the ants because I've just been cutting back on that. But uh, I was making solid contact. I was lining out and stuff. And I just, this guy was <laughs> getting jammed, getting on top of the ball, chasing the ball and still getting hits. And I just, I felt like he wasn't hitting super well. But that's the last of the complaining. I'm going to go ahead and open the pack and then sign off for you guys. Like I said, though, frustrating game. We're going to go ahead and open this pack, man. I felt like I don't play them. Obviously, he had 12 hits. I had six. But overall, I just felt like I was playing better than him. But couldn't get the win, man. Couldn't get close to that chipper. It was an exciting game. We almost completed the comeback. It was an exciting game game maybe we can get something good in our pack maybe pull a trout or something we got verlander verlander uh could, could buy us an extra pack or something but let's go ahead and open this br pack and hope we get something good i just wish i could have gotten the chipper yeah nothing good from the pack if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like i'm definitely getting better at br i think I'm, i've been playing a lot better recently 
and uh, now that I've kind of been focusing more on the videos and only putting in the parts where I do good I feel like that allows me to focus a little bit more it allows me to bring in more than one game per video and I think it overall makes the videos more exciting so leave a like if you enjoy the video leave a like if you're enjoying the videos I'm probably gonna have a draft coming for you guys tomorrow subscribe if you are new and uh, comment anything down below it'd be awesome if you commented your thoughts on the game uh, whether you thought I deserved the win because I thought I did. But, you know, I'm complaining because I lost. I'm making excuses because I lost. I probably didn't deserve the win overall. And I'm just, you know, in that mindset. And I know you guys hate it when I complain. I hate complaining. I've been trying to come back on it. But it, it's just frustrating, man. It's frustrating sometimes. I'll see you guys in the next video, though. Peace out.